How we doing, Nation? Got another fun one for you today. I'm hitting some of the leftover Halloween candy. Doing a little rip of some stuff I found on eBay. I thought it might be a fun little um, pack opening. I actually got this in an auction for $6. It's, um, I believe it's, yep, for $6 I got five packs of 2019 Bowman. These are from a Mojo Mega Box, I think it was. Um, I haven't opened any that came out of there. The only difference, as you can see here, instead of where odds would normally be, it says Tops does not in any manner make any representations as to whether its cards will attain any future value. Basically saying, you know, if you're prospecting, if you're um, hoping to make money off of these, do it at your own risk. We can't be held responsible. Um, which is crazy kind of the way the baseball game has gone. I feel like trading cards in general have become almost like a stock market of sorts, um, following value, players, all that stuff. And it seems to go with a very consistent trend. Um, they peak pretty early in card value, and then by their second year it kind of tapers off, unless you're Mike Trout or it looks like a Cunha or Soto, um, maybe on that path as well. Um, so I figured I'd break these open. Haven't actually opened any of these since maybe March or April um, when they originally came out. But with it being such a good deal, I figured it'd be fun to open and just see what's inside. Because it came to just over, I think it was a, about a buck twenty a pack. So we got Francisco Arcia rookie card. I really like the look of Bowman this year. Um, it'd be great to get some color I don't know if we will or not um, I always thought it was cool some since Bowman came out at the beginning of the year they did a really good job of putting the players in their new uniforms Christian Yelich now here's the chromes we have Ryan Helsley who actually um, debuted this year so it's always interesting to see because um, the base card is flat at the bottom the prospect card is their names in diagonal so it's interesting to open these at the end of the season because at the beginning of the year his Bowman was his prospect card still and now he has a rookie card in Topps Update. So that's pretty cool. Daniel Johnson. I actually got to meet him this year. He was playing with the Columbus Clippers, I think. Triple A for the Cleveland Indians. Um, honestly wasn't as nice as I thought he would be. Um, he signed for us but didn't seem super happy about it. Brewer Hicklin, his first Bowman. For those of you that might be new to the hobby, that's kind of the equivalent of looking for the rookie card in tops with Bowman. Everybody wants first Bowman. Ryan Helsley again, paper. And Leon Richardson, first Bowman. And what I'm saying with paper, too, as far as chrome, is the one on the right here actually says Bowman Chrome. Um, it's got kind of a shimmer, you know, and glossy finish. And the paper, you know, it's basically the term they have for base card. You know, it's just printed on their regular paper stock. Um, if you do in-person autographs or through the mail, these um, you normally don't have to prep. Um, but the chromes, sometimes you do. And I'll probably go over how to get cards um, prepped for autographs in a video later in the off season as we work through some other type of content on this channel as I was mentioning. Um, tomorrow's video I'll go over um, I went to a card show this weekend this past weekend and I'll go over what I got there and kind of what I'm still looking for as far as um, cards and set cards and things. If anybody has anything to trade um, I'd certainly be happy to do that. Brandon Lau and Dakota Hudson. Those are a couple pretty good rookies. Danny Jansen. Kyle Wright. That's a rookie pack. And then Michael Givens. Justin Dunn, Bowman Crumb. That's a good one to get. I think he'll be up with Seattle next year. Nolan Gorman. That's another good one. It's not his first, but one of the top prospects for the Cardinals. Here's a first Bowman of Keegan Thompson. And I believe Thompson, okay, he was a third round pick. I actually recognize that name for some reason. Eloy Jimenez. Not a first Bowman, but a um, good prospect card of him. And Brewer Hicklin, who was in the seventh round of the 20, 
17 draft. It's pretty nice there. We got three more to go. But I know a few of the cards I'll go through um, tomorrow, and I'll go over the list specifically then. I know there's still one I need from the 1984 insert set from Top Series 1 of this year. I'm working on that um, Cincinnati Reds insert set from Top's update. Um, my stepdad is a huge Reds fan, and I thought it'd be really cool to put that together and learn some more about the Reds myself um, since that was his favorite team. Well, it still is his favorite team. Um, but I thought that'd be really cool. And then there's still four of those History of Flight cards um, I need, which I'll be able to get you the information on that too. I have it written down. So I'll have all that for tomorrow's video. Ryan McKenna, Bowman Chrome, Gavin Lux. It's a pretty good card. He's up with the Dodgers now. And Cal Quantrill. So, still no color or anything. Granted, buying these from a second-hand seller on eBay, um, you can tell the packs were unopened, but I don't know if there's a way to actually search for colored cards, if somebody would do that. Um, and I got basically what was left over. But for 6 bucks, I still didn't think it was bad. What's funny is you can tell the collation um, isn't the greatest because that was the exact same path that went on last time with those four. Matt Carpenter, we got a first Bowman of Keegan Thompson, Kevin Smith, Darian Cruz, first Bowman Chrome, Luke and Baker, um, he's a top prospect for the Cardinals, and MJ Melendez. Jess Baker was in the second round, he was drafted in the second round last year. Okay, last pack. Hoping for a little something exciting in here. Um, so we can close it out on a really cool um, highlight for the day for you all. Cody Bellinger. Miguel Cabrera. We got Jose Abreu. Chris Archer. On to the prospects here. Franklin Kilome. That's how you say it. Nolan Gorman. We got a chrome of Nick Nadert, Ian Anderson, who's a pretty good prospect, and William Contreras. So no color, anything like that. We did get some nice prospect cards. Um, we got some rookies in there, which is pretty nice. Um, never a bad day to really rip packs, especially when you could get that many packs for um, $5, or no, for $6. I'll take it. Um, even if they had been searched over before. I don't really know if they have been. I normally don't buy packs through eBay. Um, and the few times I have, I haven't really pulled anything at all. Um, so then you're kind of trusting somebody else rather than getting it just from a store. But I can't really find these Bowmans in the store anymore. So that's kind of why I did it. Um, if there's any of these cards you like, I will certainly um, trade them with you. Um, just let me know. Shoot me an email, Cody's Card Closet at gmail.com. I'd also be willing to sell any of them as well. Um, if you want like a bulk of them or however you want to do it, just let me know. Um, stay tuned tomorrow um, where we'll go over the card show video. And also, um, I'll give you a rundown of the specific cards I'm looking for um, that we could potentially trade for down the road. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Have a great Tuesday. I'll see you later.